William asks the children in year two and year six if they walk to school. This graph shows the results. Altogether, how many children don't walk to school? So we can see that the children that don't walk to school have a bar that's pale grey. So for year two, if we go to the top and then across, we can see that that's between 100 and 120, so 110. And then for year six, we can see that we have 90 children because that's between 80 and 100. So to find the number altogether, we need to work out 110 plus 90, so that's 200 children. Now, how many more year six children than year two children walk to school? So in year six, we can see that walk to school is the dark gray bar. And if we go across, we can see that 120 children in year six walk to school. But for year two, that's between 60 and 80, so 70 children. Now the question says, how many more? So we need to find the difference. And we do that using subtraction. 120 minus 70 is 50. So 50 more year six children than year two children walk to school. Circle the number that is 10 times greater than 907. So 907 is written 907. So with a nine in our hundreds and a seven in our ones. But we want the number 10 times greater. So we need to multiply 907 by 10. And that gives us 9070. Because if we have a whole number to multiply by 10, we can put a zero on the end. So our number is 9070. Write the missing numbers to make this multiplication grid correct. So here to get 63, we have nine times the missing number here. So nine times what is 63? Well, 63 divided by nine is seven. So nine times seven is 63. And here we have 54, and that's the answer to 9 multiplied by this number. So 54 divided by 9 is 6, so 9 times 6 is 54. And now something times 7 is 56, so we can divide 56 by 7, and that gives us 8. And then we can check we have 48 here. And that's the answer to 8 times 6. This table shows the heights of three mountains. How much higher is Mount Everest than the combined height of the other two mountains? So we can see that Mount Everest is 8,848 metres. But we want to know how much higher, so how much more, that is, than the combined height of the other two. So if we want the combined height, we need to add the heights of the other two mountains. So add 5,895 plus 1,344. And that gives us 7,239. So we want to know how much more or how much higher is 8,848 meters than 7,239. So we need to find the difference, and to do that, we subtract. And when we do the subtraction, we get 1,609 meters. Complete this table with the missing numbers. One row has been done for you. So if we have the number 3,500, 1,000 more, will be 4,500. So now we need to find the number that's 1,000 more than 85. So if we work out 1,000 plus 85, that gives us 1,085. So that's one as the thousands digit, and we still have eight as the tens and five as the ones. But now 
9,099 is 1,000 more than which number? So here, we need to subtract 1,000 from 9,099. So that gives us 8,099. Because if we look at the example they've given us, the number is 1,000 less than the number that's 1,000 more. And now, which number is 1,000 less than 15,250? Well, if we subtract 1,000, we get 14,250. Write these numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest. So we have 1.9, 0.96, 1.253, 1.254, 1.255, 1.256, 1.257, 1.258, 1.259, 1.260, 1.271, 1.272, 1.273, 1.274, 1.275, 1.278, 1.279, 1.280, 1.281, 1.282, 1.283, 1.284, 1.285, 1.286, 1.287, 1.288, 1.289, 1.290, 1.291, 1.292, 1.293, 1.294, 1.295, 1.296, 1.297, 1.298, 1.299, 1.300, 1.301, 1.302, 1.303, 1.304, 1.305, 1.306, 1.307, 1.308, 1.309, 1.310, 1.311, 1.312, 1.313, 1.314, 1.315, 1.316, 1.317, 1.318, 1.319, 1.320, 1.321, 1.322, 1.323, 1.324, 1.325, 1.326, 1.327, 1.328, 1.329, 1.330, 1.331, 1.332, 1.333, 1.334, 1.335, 1.336, 1.337, 1.338, 1.339, 1.440, 1.441, 1.442, 1.443, 1.444, 1.445, 1.446, 1.447, 1.448, 1.449, 1.450, 1.451, 1.452, 1.453, 1.454, 1.455, 1.456, 1.457, 1.458, 1.459, 1.460, 1.471, 1.472, 1.473, 1.474, 1.475, 1.476, 1.478, 1.479, 1.480, 1.491, 1.492, 1.493, 1.494, 1.495, 1.496, 1.497, 1.498, 1.499, 1.500, 1.501, 1.502, 1.503, 1.504, 1.505, 1.506, 1.507, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.598, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.598, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533, 1.534, 1.535, 1.536, 1.537, 1.538, 1.539, 1.540, 1.541, 1.542, 1.543, 1.544, 1.545, 1.546, 1.547, 1.548, 1.549, 1.550, 1.551, 1.552, 1.553, 1.554, 1.555, 1.566, 1.577, 1.578, 1.579, 1.580, 1.581, 1.582, 1.583, 1.584, 1.585, 1.596, 1.597, 1.508, 1.509, 1.510, 1.511, 1.512, 1.513, 1.514, 1.515, 1.516, 1.517, 1.518, 1.519, 1.520, 1.521, 1.522, 1.523, 1.524, 1.525, 1.526, 1.527, 1.528, 1.529, 1.530, 1.531, 1.532, 1.533
12 times 7 gives us 84 days. At the start of June, there were 1,793 toy cars in the shop. During June, 8,728 more toy cars were delivered. 9,473 toy cars were sold. How many toy cars were left in the shop at the end of June? Well, if more were delivered, then we need to add because the number will be increasing. But then, when cars are sold, they will leave the shop, so we'll need to subtract. So first, let's add the toy cars that were delivered. 1,793 plus 8,728 gives us 10,521. So then, we can subtract the 9,473 cars that were sold from that, and that gives us the number that were left in the shop at the end of June. So that's 1,048. Tick two shapes that have three quarters shaded. So for this shape here, we can see that we have six parts that are shaded and eight parts altogether. So six eighths of this shape is shaded. But that's the same as three quarters because we can simplify 6 eighths by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2, and that gives us 3 quarters. So here, because 6 eighths is shaded, and that's the same as 3 quarters, we can tick this shape. Now here we have 3 parts shaded and 6 parts altogether, but 3 sixths is not the same as 3 quarters. And here we have 7 out of 9 parts shaded, but we can't simplify 7 ninths. We can't simplify it to 3 quarters, so we don't want to tick this shape either. Now here we have 12 parts shaded altogether, and 16 parts in total. And 12 over 16 can be simplified, because 12 and 16 are both in the 4 times table. So if we divide both the numerator and denominator by 4, that gives us 3 quarters. So we can tick this shape here, because 12 sixteenths is the same as 3 quarters, so we can say that 3 quarters of this shape is shaded. We need to round 84,516 to the nearest 10 hundred and thousand. So to round to the nearest 10, we can find our tens digit, which with whole numbers is always the second digit from the right, and then to decide whether we need to round up or down, we can look at the digit to the right, so here our ones digit. Remember, if it's five or more, like it is here, we round up. So that means this one will become a two, digits to the left stay the same, and then digits to the right of what we've circled turn into zeros. So that gives us 84,520, because we're rounding up. Now to the nearest hundred, we can find our hundreds digit, and this time when we look to the right, we have a one, and if we have four or less, we round down. So that means the digit that we've circled stays the same, Digits to the left stay the same, digits to the right turn into zeros, so we get 84,500. And to the nearest thousand, we find our thousands digit, and because we have a five in our hundreds, a five in the place value to the right, we know that we're rounding up. So that means the digit that we've circled increases by one, so the four becomes a five. The 8 stays the same because that's to the left of what we've circled and digits to the right turn into zeros so we get 85,000. Here is a rule for the time it takes to cook a chicken. Cooking time equals 20 minutes plus an extra 40 minutes for each kilogram. How many minutes will it take to cook a 3 kilogram chicken? 
So if we have 20 minutes plus 40 minutes for each kilogram, that's 20 minutes plus 40 times 3. Now 40 times 3 is 120, so if we add that to 20 minutes, we get 140 minutes. Now, what is the mass of a chicken that takes 100 minutes to cook? So 100 minutes is equal to 20 minutes plus 40 times what? Because we need to multiply each kilogram by 40 minutes. Well, if we subtract 20 from 100, that gives us 80. So we need to think 40 times what is 80? Well, 80 divided by 40 is 2. So that means if we have a 2 kilogram chicken, that will be 20 minutes plus 40 times 2, and that will give us 100 minutes. So the mass of the chicken is 2 kilograms. Here are diagrams of some 3D shapes. Tick each shape that has the same number of faces as vertices. So we need to remember that with 3D shapes, the faces are the flat bits or the sides, and the vertices are the pointy bits or the corners. So on this shape here, we have six faces, so six flat bits, and we have eight vertices because we have four in the corners at the top and four at the bottom as well. So we have a cube, but we do not have the same number of faces as vertices. So let's look at this shape here. We have four faces because we have a triangle at the bottom and then a face connecting each side of the triangle to the point at the top. And we have four vertices because we have three vertices at the bottom for the corners of our triangle and one vertex at the top. So that's four vertices altogether. So here we do have the same number of faces and vertices because we have a triangular based pyramid. Now here we have five faces because we have a triangle at one end, a triangle at the other end, and then three rectangles connecting the edges of the triangle. So we have two triangular faces and three rectangular faces in the middle. But we have six vertices because we have three vertices at this end, so the corners of this triangle, but we also have three vertices at the other end, so the three corners of the other triangle. So we do not have the same number of faces and vertices, and the shape we have here is called a triangular prism. So remember, a prism means that we have the same 2D shape at both ends, and then rectangular faces in the middle connecting them. Now, for this shape, we have five faces, because we have a square face at the bottom, but then we have four triangular faces connecting each edge of the square to the top of the pyramid, or this vertex here. And we have five vertices as well, because we have a vertex in each corner of the square, so that's four vertices at the bottom, but then we have another vertex, another point at the top of our pyramid. So we have the same number of faces and vertices, and this shape here is called a square-based pyramid. Ali and Jack buy some stickers. Ali buys a pack of 12 stickers for £10.49. Jack buys 12 single stickers for 99 pence each. How much more does Jack pay than Ali? Well, first of all, we need to work out how much Jack pays. He buys 12 stickers for 99 pence each, so we need to work out 12 times 99 pence. Now, the way I would do this is to work out that 12 times 1 pound is 12 pounds, and 99 pence is just 1 pence less than 1 pound. So, if he buys 12 stickers, that will be 12 pence less than 12 pounds, so that's 11 pounds 88. Or, if that's confusing, 
we could just work out 99 times 12 using short multiplication. And that gives us 1,188 pence, so that's £11.88. So we know that that's how much Jack pays, but we want to know how much more does Jack pay than Ali. So we need to find the difference, and we do that using subtraction. So we need to subtract what Ali pays, so £10.49, from what Jack pays. And when we do that, we get £1.39. So that's how much more Jack pays than Ali. Amina planted some seeds. For every three seeds Amina planted, only two seeds grew. Altogether, 12 seeds grew. How many seeds did Amina plant? So we know that for every three she planted, two seeds grew, and we know that 12 seeds grew. So we need to think two times what is 12? Well, two times six is 12, and if we multiply three by six, that tells us that 18 seeds were planted. At the end of a film, the year is given in Roman numerals. Write the year MMVI in figures. So here we need to remember that M represents a thousand, V is five, and I is one. So if we have two M's, that's two thousand, and then VI means five and one, so that's six. So that means the year is 2006. 2Ms means 2000, and VI is 5 plus 1, so that's 6. Layla completes one and a half somersaults in a dive. How many degrees does Layla turn through in her dive? So we know that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees, and that means that a whole turn is 360 degrees. We also know that angles on a straight line add up to 180, so that means a half turn is 180 degrees. So if she completes one and a half turns, we can add a whole turn and a half turn, so 360 plus 180, and that gives us 540 degrees as the number of degrees that Layla turns through in her dive. The other way to solve this question would be to spot that from the picture, each time she moves is a quarter of a turn or a 90 degree turn. So if we have six 90 degree turns, that's 540 degrees altogether. The vertices of a quadrilateral have these coordinates. One side of the quadrilateral has been drawn on the grid. Complete the quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a shape with four sides because quad means four, and the vertices are the corners. So the first coordinate we have is one, five. And we need to remember that with coordinates, the first number will be the x coordinate. So here we have an x coordinate of one and a y coordinate of five. So that's this point here, because if we go down to the x axis, we have one, and if we go across to the y axis, we have five. Then we have the coordinates five, four. So that's this point here, because if we go up from five, we get to the point, and with the y-axis, if we go across from four, we get to the point as well. So the next coordinate is one minus three. So that's an x-coordinate of one, so in line with this point here, and a y-coordinate of minus three means that we can plot our point here, because we can go up to the x-axis to get one, and then across to the y-axis to get to minus three. And now, minus three, four. So here, the first number, so the number on the x-axis needs to be minus three, and the number on the y-axis needs to be four. 
So we can plot our fourth vertex here. That's an x coordinate of minus 3 and a y coordinate of 4. And we need to complete the quadrilateral. So now that we've plotted our vertices, all we need to do is join them up. A cat sleeps for 12 hours each day. 50% of its life is spent asleep. A koala sleeps for 18 hours each day. What percentage of its life is spent asleep? So here we need to remember that there are 24 hours in a day. So a cat sleeps for 12 out of 24 hours. So we can write the fraction 12 over 24. But we need to remember that a percentage is a fraction with a denominator of 100. So how can we get a denominator of 100 when 100 is not a multiple of 24? We can't multiply 24 by a whole number to get 100. But what we can do is simplify first. So 12 and 24 are both in the 12 times table. So if we divide both by 12, that gives us one half. And then we can convert one half to a fraction with a denominator of 100 because 2 times 50 is 100. 1 times 50 is 50. So that's why 12 out of 24 hours is the same as 50%. So we can do the same approach with the koala. It sleeps for 18 hours each day. So that's 18 out of 24 hours. Again, we need to simplify. We can't divide by 12 because 18 is not in the 12 times table, but we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 6 because 18 and 24 are both multiples of 6. So when we divide both the numerator and denominator by 6, we get 3 quarters and we can find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100 because 4 times 25 is 100, 3 times 25 is 75. So because we get 75 hundredths, we have 75%. Amina posts three large letters. The postage costs the same for each letter. She pays with a £20 note. Her change is £14.96. What is the cost of posting one letter? Well, first we can work out what it costs to post three large letters, and we can do that by subtracting her change from what she pays with. And then, if we know the cost of posting three letters, we can work out the cost of one letter by dividing by three. So first, let's find how much she pays to post three large letters. So work out £20 minus £14.96. We could use column subtraction for this, and we get £5 for pence. Now the quicker way, rather than using column subtraction, would be to count on from £14.96. So another four pence would take us to £15, and then from £15, another £5 would take us to £20. So that's a quicker way of getting £5 for pence. But that's how much it costs for three letters, and we want the cost of posting one letter. So we need to divide the total cost, divide five pounds for pence by three. We can use short division, and that gives us one pound sixty-eight. So that's the cost of posting one letter. Adam says 0 0.25 is smaller than two-fifths. Explain why he is correct. So to compare a decimal and a fraction, we either need to change our fraction to a decimal or change our decimal to a fraction. So 0 0.25 is the same as 25 hundredths because we know that the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit. So we can find an equivalent fraction to two-fifths which also has a denominator of 100. 
5 times 20 is 100. So if we do the same to the numerator, 2 times 20 is 40. So 0 0.25 is 25 hundredths, and 2 fifths is equivalent to 40 hundredths. So that's how we know that 2 fifths is larger, or 0 0.25 is smaller. The other way to explain would be to change our fraction to a decimal. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 4 tenths, which is 0 0.4 because the first digit after the decimal point tells us how many tenths we have. And 0 0.25 is smaller than 0 0.4 because it has fewer tenths. Remember, when we're comparing decimals, we start by comparing the larger place values. And both of these numbers have 0 in the ones, but this number only has 2 tenths and this number has 4. So, because 0 0.4 is larger than 0 0.25, that means 2 fifths is larger than 0 0.25, because 2 fifths is the same as 0 0.4. On a map, 1 centimetre represents 20 kilometres. The distance between two cities is 250 kilometres. On the map, what is the distance between the two cities? So we know that one centimetre on the map is 20 kilometres, but we need to work out how many centimetres is 250 kilometres. But this is tricky because we can't multiply 20 by a whole number to get 250. But what we can do is work out 10 kilometres because 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. So if 1 centimetre is 20 kilometres, that means that half a centimetre will be 10 kilometres. So then we can work out what 240 kilometres would be, because if we know the distance on the map, which is 240, and the distance that's 10, we can put them together to get the distance that's 250. So 20 times 12 is 240, and 1 times 12 is 12. So because we know that 240 is 12, and 10 is a half, that means 250 will be 12 plus a half, so 12 and a half centimetres. The other way to work this out would be to divide 250 by 20. Remember, when we have division problems with end zeros, we can cancel them. So here, we can work out 25 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 5 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 1. So we need to extend with a point 0, copy up our decimal point, and write our remainder 1 in front of our tenths digit. So now 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that gives us 12.5 or 12 and a half centimetres. Here are two similar right angled triangles. Write the ratio of side A to side B. So we need the ratio of this side here to this side here. Now if we look at our other lengths of our triangle, we can see that the base of this triangle is 2 squares, and the base of this triangle is 8 squares. And if we look at the height, here we have 1 square, and here we have 4 squares. So we can see that the lines on shape B, or the lines on this shape here, are 4 times as long as the lines on this shape here. 2 times 4 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4. So that means the ratio is 1 to 4. And we can see that for shape A, if we take this one length, we can copy that length 1, 2, 3, 4 times onto shape B. So the ratio is 1 to 4. Now they tell us that we have similar right-angled triangles. So with similar shapes, though the lengths might not be the same, we multiply by the same number to change them. 
So here we multiply the length of A by 4 to get the length of B. So that's why the ratio is 1 to 4. And also with similar shapes the angles will still be the same size. Because though the shape might have got larger or smaller, it won't have changed in any other way. In this circle, one quarter and one sixth are shaded. What fraction of the whole circle is not shaded? So here we have one quarter and here one sixth. But we want to know the fraction that is not shaded. So first, we can find the fraction that is shaded by adding one quarter and one sixth. And then if we subtract that fraction from one whole, because we have one whole circle, we'll get the fraction that is not shaded. So to add fractions, we need the denominators to be... And 12 is in both the 4 and 6 times tables, so we can find equivalent fractions with a denominator of 12. So instead of 1 quarter, we can have 3 twelfths, and instead of 1 sixth, we can have 2 twelfths. So that gives a total of 5 twelfths, so that's the total amount that we have shaded. So we can find the fraction that is not shaded by subtracting 5 twelfths from 1. Now 1 or 1 whole is the same as 12 twelfths, so if we subtract 5 twelfths, that gives us 7 twelfths. So 7 twelfths of the circle is not shaded. Because if we have 5 twelfths shaded and 7 twelfths not shaded, that gives us 12 twelfths altogether, and 12 twelfths is the same as one whole. So here, one whole circle. 